Morning, Captain. Morning. Permission to come aboard. There she is, that's the Sea Princess. All the passengers have been unloaded. The next step is to get the empty ship to the dry dock, and for that, they'll use a team of tugboats like this one. Tim Westman is the captain of the Delta Catherine, one of four tugs guiding the ship into dry dock. He needs to keep a close eye on the bay's heavy traffic and shallow waters. If you're not in the channel, it's five feet deep. Really? <laughs> yeah, it just comes up where they don't have it dredged, so you gotta know where you are, and. Make sure you stay out of the bad spots. Maneuvering a vessel this big and this expensive takes precision and nerves of steel. Get it wrong here, and we could have an even bigger fix on our hands. You want to go as fast as you want to hit. Keep it slow, you never have a problem. That's a nice saying, go as fast as you want to hit. This is where Tim and the other tug captains earn their paychecks. From here, you can really see the job these guys have laid out for them. They've got to get the stern of that ship threaded into the dry dock. A little bump here comes with a huge price tag. This is the crunch time right now. This is when it's going to happen fast and furious. As soon as you get the stern into the dry dock, it's definitely danger hour because the stern can swing either way. The ship's half in, half out. We need to get all these lines on as soon as possible so the guys have control over the ship. It's a tight fit, but we make it in without a scrape. Now, they have to pump out 20 million gallons of seawater to raise up the dry dock. And she'll be high and dry.